Hello, my name is Janie Lachlan. Welcome to my developmental psychology presentation. The atypical disorder I will talk about is autism spectrum disorder, also known as ASD or autism. Here is the outline of this presentation. Due to time constraints, please quickly scan over it just now, but please follow the slide print out I have provided. The aim of this presentation is to present information relating to the atypical development disorder, autism, including its impact on a child's cognitive, social and psychological development, which, while reflecting on the nature versus nurture debate, as well as intervention strategies used to support children with autism, I shall now begin by defining autism. <laughs> Autism is characterised by early onset prior to 30 months with difficulties in three domains impaired social development, communicative development with insistence on sameness. This prototype comes from two independent studies by Leo Kanner and Hans Asberg. Currently autism is dimensionalised into a spectrum from few traits to many. Autism affects 1 in 59 children. This has increased from 1 in 10,000 since 1970. Within ASD, it is believed that males outnumber females 4 to 1 and this ratio hasn't changed since the earliest study. Conversely, Asperg's study only 4 boys and Canner studied 8 boys but only 3 girls. Baker states that ASD has been a matter of controversy which has gone from blaming mothers through the discredited theory known as refrigerator mother to genetics and now to epigenetics and environmental factors. So there are many theories but no one knows what lies at the root of autism but that hasn't stopped scientists from speculating. All of these theories can be viewed at this website. I will discuss serotonin's links to autism. A study of 23 autistic people reported that six had high levels of serotonin in their blood and had consistently been found in one in four on the spectrum. These levels are highly heritable, suggesting that genetic factors control them. Conversely, some studies point to low serotonin levels in the brain of autistic people. When autistic adults adopt a diet low in amino acid tryptophan, the raw material for serotonin, their repetitive behaviours worsen and their irritability increases. Daily et al. found altered patterns of brain activity in face processing, suggesting that serotonin influences social behaviour. Kung Jani et al. and Oblak et al.'s brain imaging studies also concur two little centora, centorin in the brain and two little serotonin binds to its receptors. Therefore, it would seem that treatment that increases serotonin levels could ease autistic traits like repetitive behaviours. Preliminary evidence suggests that in adults with autism, the active ingredients in the drug ecstasy, which raises serotonin levels in the brain, 
seems to ease social anxiety. However, research continues. I will now talk about psychological theories. Jean Piaget has provided concepts and principles that guide understanding of developmental cognitive change. Unlike Piaget's notions that children's development must precede their learning, Vygotsky argued that social learning tends to precede development. The table shows how Piaget and Vygotsky's theories differ. Please refer to the printed slide provided. Bronfer Brenze described human development in terms of interrelated nested ecological levels, which I will now discuss. Gada et al. believes ASD is a highly heritable disorder and that genetic susceptibility interacts with environmental factors. Bronfen Brenner Ecological model takes us further by studying the child with autism's behaviour within the context of the many levels of environmental influence and assumes biodirectional influences between A the child and these environmental influences and B the many environmental levels. Some variables have a direct immediate impact and some a more distal variable have an indirect impact. Loveland states that autism is not a static condition, but a developmental process understood through interaction of the child and environment. Conversely, two recent twin studies do not support this and instead reaffirm strong genetic effects, a finding consistent with previous reports. As autism affects a developmental process, it is vital to understand that individuals on the spectrum have difficulty appreciating others' thoughts, beliefs and feelings that are unique to them. This is known as impaired theory of mind, which I will now demonstrate. Theory of Mind was created by Simon Baron Cohen, Alan Leslie and Ulla Frith in 1985 and is the explanatory theory that tries to explain the persistent de deficits in communication and social interaction in various contexts that children with ASD fail to understand. Theory of mind is the ability that neurotypical people have to represent the mental state of others. This ability appears innately during the first steps of the first stages of child development and is established at around four to five years old. To understand this, a false belief experiment using Sally Ann test by Weimar Perna was carried out. We'll now play it. Jessica, which one is named Sally? And which one is named Anne? And where is box A? And where is box B? Right, Sally is going to put a brush in her box, which is box A. Now Sally is leaving the room. Now Anne is putting it from Sally's box into Anne's box. Sally, come back in the room, please. Now, Jessica, where will Sally look for her brush? Point to it. Where is the brush, really? And where was the brush at the beginning? Clever girl. The experiment illustrated how a child failed the belief question by not taking into account the doll's belief. However, she passed the two control questions, the reality question and the memory question. These are crucial as they ensure the child had both knowledge of the real current location of the brush and an accurate memory of the previous location. According to Baron Cohen et al, the three questions do not differ in terms of psycholinguistic complexity. This ability appears innately in a child's development around four to five years, but this child is seven. As this experiment demonstrates an impairment, it is necessary to look at a child's development in more detail. It has become evident 
that autism encompasses multiple abnormalities in emotional, sensory, motor, social and cognitive development and these start to emerge during infancy. ASD is often a distressing, stressful and troubling and detrimental to many aspects of life including aspirations, marriage, finances, well-being and health. Therefore, early diagnosis and treatment could yield benefits and reduce costs. So it's important to be aware of the different interventions available. Treatment. There is no cure for this disorder, but intensive early treatment can make a big difference in the lives of many children. The goal of treatment is to improve the ability of the child to function by reducing symptoms and supporting development and learning. Treatment options include therapy such as behavioural and communication therapy, educational therapy, family therapy, speech therapy and occupational therapy. The type of therapy depends on the child's needs. The core symptoms of autism cannot be improved with medication although medications such as antidepressants can help to control anxiety or antipsychotics for severe behavioural problems. There is lots of misconceptions about autism but people with autism do want friends. They are just unable to communicate this and might not detect sadness. They can have a normal to high IQ. Autism does affect adults and is not caused by bad parenting. Further research showed that MMR vaccinations does not increase the risk of autism or trigger it. Hopefully this large study, study will reassure the public that the MMR has no link with the risk of autism.
Experts have agreed that these famous people have autistic tendencies, so I have displayed these to inspire those who fall somewhere on the spectrum. So the main points of the presentation is that autism affects 1 in 59 children with onset before 3. It's diagnosed more in boys with a 4 to 1 ratio. No one knows what lies at the root of autism. It has been suggested that serotonin levels play a part in altered patterns of behaviour. It is highly heritable with environmental influences and can be very distressing and early intervention could yield benefits. There, are a lot, there is a lot of misconceptions about autism which needs to be addressed to avoid things like bullying and so people get important vaccinations and there are many famous people with autism which should inspire those on the spectrum who may be different but should still be accepted. Future research could be a systematic review and meta-analysis of all ASD twin studies published to date that explores causation to establish if autism is highly heritable. And there have been no studies reported that use an all-female case study approach to investigate ASD traits from a female perspective that could establish a more reliable diagnosis leading to a higher ratio of girls being diagnosed. And here are my references which you can look over in the printed slides. Thank you for watching my presentation. Do you have any questions?